I had a comment recently on one of my old videos, the Manhattan cocktail recipe, and Isaac Luna asked, why stir and not shake? And my response was to say that stirring adds chilling and dilution to a drink, whilst shaking adds chilling, dilution, and aeration. Just yesterday, I had another reply from uh, Dick Zanormus. Dick Zanormus. I prefer it shaken, which also chills. It's two ounces of booze with a nip of vermouth. You're not going to notice a dilution of a few ice shards unless you are willfully pretentious. So I thought I'd run a little bit of an experiment on the channel to find out if I'm pretentious. So stirring or shaking a cocktail increases the contact between the liquid and the ice. And the faster that you move the drink with the ice, the faster that it chills and dilutes. So essentially shaking is a way more efficient method of chilling and, and diluting a cocktail. So if you shook a cocktail for about 15 seconds, it almost reaches equilibrium where it's at that point where it's not gonna get any colder and therefore it's not gonna chill any further. Whether it's, if you're stirring a cocktail, that's gonna take about two minutes or more. So no one is going to, well, most people are going to stir their Manhattans for two minutes, but you can understand why if you shake a Manhattan, then it very easily and very quickly is going to become over diluted and possibly watery. Now, of course, I'm a big advocate for saying that if you like to serve your drinks in a particular way, that there's no right or wrong. So uh, it's subjective. If you want to drink it that way, then that's fine. And that's still right. But I just wanted to carry out a experiment on the channel to find out if I'm pretentious by making a Manhattan and see if I can spot the difference between shaking and stirred of these two particular drinks. I'm going to grab some glassware and let's get to it. All right, so I'm just going to do a classic two to one uh, spec for my Manhattan. Uh, two ounces of rye whiskey, uh, make the drinks identical for consistency because this is a science experiment. One ounce of vermouth, I'm using uh, antique formula, which is delicious. So one ounce, 30 mil. I'll just do one dash, try and be as consistent as possible. And also I am going to count my ice cubes. So, you know, consistency. That was about seven cubes. I'll add a few more. Dave Arnold, the author of Liquid Intelligence, uh, he's the science guru of cocktails. Um, one thing that he does mention in his book is there's a fundamental law of traditional cocktails, which is there is no chilling without dilution and there is no dilution without chilling. I think that's the right way around, but uh, yeah, meaning that they're inextricably linked. So you can't chill your cocktail with ice without it diluting and vice versa. Uh, all right, I'm gonna stir for like 20 seconds. Now shake for 15 seconds. I can't say I've ever shaken my Manhattans before, so this is gonna be an interesting experiment. Nice, nice wash line. You've got that little, little space from the top of the glass. Nicely diluted, I believe. And this almost looks, yeah. Almost looks like a, uh, a blood and sand. It's kind of like dirty looking. Honestly, I'm surprised there's not actually, like there's only a little bit more dilution in this one. I was thought it was gonna have a lot more. I mean, if I measured this out, which I probably should have in the, in the name of science, it could still be an extra ounce of dilution here, which would make a huge difference. But this looks terrible. There's a lot of ice shards. <laughs> this, if you got served this in a bar, if I got served this in a bar, I 100% would throw it back at the bartender because that does not look like your average Manhattan. Manhattan number one, stirred. Beautiful aroma to it.
Oh, that vermouth is beautiful. Uh, nice aromatics from the bitters. Now for my shaken Manhattan. Yeah, it's it tastes watery. It it tastes <laughs> it tastes really bad actually. It tastes watery. You've got like heaps and heaps of ice shards sitting on the top, uh, which in this I wouldn't mind it in a citrusy cocktail in like a sour or something. Um, you get these little ice shards, but in in a spirit forward cocktail, it's it's not nice. It's a bit unpleasant. Got heaps of aeration there, and it's got this. I don't know, it's so unusual having that in a spirit forward cocktail. It's just really flat. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad, to be honest. Way more flavorful. Way more flavorful. So the results are in. I am 100% pretentious because I would prefer a stirred Manhattan over a shaken one. Do yourself a favor, no, yeah, do yourself a favor and don't even bother trying to make a shaken Manhattan. No offense to Dick Zanormous. Um, <laughs> No offense to Dick's enormous, it's just an experiment that I wanted to try. If you like your Manhattan like this, absolutely. Um, thumbs up to you, no problem. Uh, link in the description below for Liquid Intelligence. Make sure you grab it if you don't have it. Uh, it discusses ice, dilution, chilling, uh, more the science side of, side of drinks, and pretty much every bartender should, should read it at some point. Cheers. I know, when I, when I poured it out, I was like, really fucking bad, um, I want to pour it out, I was like, whoa. Did I, did I put something else in it? I said something else, maybe it's a <laughs>